Welcome to the Monster Maker Laboratory. This is where you can build your own monster by decoding its genome. Now, what's a genome? I'm glad you asked. Let's go into the introduction to find the answer. Let's start with three letters you may have heard. DNA. That stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And this is your blueprint, and actually the blueprint and instructions for all living things. Doesn't matter whether you're a plant, an animal, or a bacteria, you're going to have DNA. And it's going to be helping you build things and controlling how you work. So what is DNA? Well, DNA is made up of four basic parts. And they're repeated in different combinations so that it can make a whole lot of different instructions. That allows us to have, say, plants grow, worms crawl, birds fly, and humans, well, you know what humans do, lots of things. And that's all possible because of the genome and DNA. For monster DNA, our scientists have discovered the genome to build monsters. We're going to learn more about how to decode the instructions and how to make your own monster in the how to play section. Now to play the game, you only need to do a few things. One is you need to be able to look up and find different combinations of colors or patterns. So you can see over here, red, green, and blue is the letter C. Okay. So that's one of the things you need to know. The other thing to know is some of the basic game controls, turning the sound on and off. It's also possible to change the color codes to pattern codes. I'll show you that in a moment. And if you see the question mark, That'll help you find some basic game instructions for that section. There's the printer mode. We'll go over that. Download and the gallery. So, you ready? Let's go play. And while I'm working on this, I'm actually going to increase the size just a bit. Okay, so this is a monster genome. And down below, you can see the key for the different color combinations. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out which color combination and what letter or number or symbol fits in this particular spot. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is there are thousands and thousands of monster genomes. So you can see that you can pick a lot of different kinds of monster genomes. I'm going to pick this one for now. Also, you can switch between the color, which is showing up here, or you can change it to symbols so that you can do this without having the need for color. But we'll go back to color for this. All right, now, here we go. Let's see what we have here. Oh, and by the way, in this box over here, that's where the monster will start to appear as we decode different parts of the genome. All right, so I'll start this off here at a regular speed. Uh, let's see here, so yellow, red, green. So we're gonna look for yellow, red, green, F. And notice it's an uppercase F. All right, and let's go to the next one here, red, green, red. Red, green, red. I'm going to show you. If I put a capital U, I get an error. So I'm going to put U. And let's see here. What's the next one here? It's green, green, blue. So green, green, blue, R. Ah, fur. Cool. All right, so now we'll speed things up just a bit so we can get through this monster and uh, see what we're going to decode. Oh. 
All right, now we're down to a few more here. Looks like G and yellow, yellow, red. All right, success. Wow, now that is a cool monster and one that I have never seen. So let's give it a name. Let's see here. How about Harry? Horned fish. Ooh, no. Dog fish monster. All right. And I'm going to put my name in. All right. Now that we've done that, we will want to go ahead and there's some options. First of all, we'll want to add it to the gallery. All right. So we've added it to the gallery. That's one thing. And we'll go look at that in just a bit. And then we can go ahead and save the image. I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. And now if I look down here, I can open this up and look at my monster. There it is. Saved as an image. So if I want to use it, I can now go back out and I could print it. And if I want to print it, I can print it with the genome. I can print it with the monster only, or I can print it as a monster coloring page. And that's pretty cool because you can pick your own colors and add your own flair to your monster that's been decoded. So I think that for now, I just want to see my monster with its genome. So if I press print, here I have Monster Maker, Dr. Biology made it and it's been decoded and you get to see the entire genome and the monster. Okay, so we won't save that right now. Okay, so now that we've printed it, let's go ahead and let's close that and let's change our size back down and we have a lot of choices right now. We could go ahead and decode another monster, which you can see is another genome. Or if I quit right now, I can come back and I could go look at, for example, the gallery. Ah, so yes, Dr. Biology has been busy building monsters. And I hope you are too. So this is the gallery. So this is the way we can see what we've been building. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main page where we can explore other things such as the worksheet generator. Now this is fun because maybe you want to work on paper. Maybe you're teaching a class and you want a set of monster worksheets. You can go ahead and do that. I'm going to just pick three just so you can see what happens. And if I'm teaching, I would certainly like to have the answer key. And do I want a genome in color? And I'll keep it in color right now and I'll tell it to make worksheets. And you can see right now we have the first one. And this is what's fun about this one is as you decode it, you actually can draw your own monster. So those artists out there, those creatives, and even those that don't think they're creative can really make some great illustrations and draw their monsters. So this is the monster and the, the uh, answer key and another genome and the answer key. All right. So let's go back. And the final thing to mention is that you can explore more about monsters and DNA and genomes by going to Monster Manual. And on Monster Manual, you can learn about Matt and Matilda Monster. That's a fun one. You also can spend some time learning about DNA. 
that we talked about earlier. So I'll stop there and take you back to Monster Maker because I know you're going to want to go to Monster Maker as soon as possible to build your own monsters. So let's get started decoding and having fun. <laughs>